Hello there guys, and now we finally make it to the Daytona 500 and we got our set of field of starters and some guys did not end up making the 500. One big name in particular, Nick Mace, third in the points in the season after season number four. He will not make the Daytona 500, which is pretty big, but he will be sitting on the sidelines here today. Um, watching his little sister race, Ash Ashley Mace, who's going to be starting second place. Aaron Williams is going to be right there in uh, row number one on the pole. Jordan Branson, the Gatorade Duel number one race winner. And Nicholas Cordova, season two champion and the Gatorade Duel number two winner. Demax will round out the top five. And man, this is the first time ever, guys, that the Daytona 500 was ran in complete daytime and sunshine out season one through three it was cloudy and a chance of rain now and then season four it was dark time nighttime now it is lit get ready for some hard nose racing here at daytona guys let's get down to the starting lineup As we roll down the back straightaway, look at them guys. 42 guys behind that pace car. Any of them can have a chance to win this race. Aaron Williams will be on the pole here today. It's anybody's game. Anybody's chance to win the 500 here today. And back in the field here, these guys barely made it in the field. Sky Collins and uh, Zach, Zach Flickinger. They'll start 40 first and 42nd on the board as the pace car goes through turns three and four. Aaron Williams finishing seventh overall in the championship in season number four. He's gonna have the pole here today and he's gonna lead Ashley Mace and 40 other guys down to the start of the green. Let's see how our front row starters are gonna do. Here we go guys. Green flag, green, 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 it's out. Season five is underway here at Daytona. The first time that all 42 of these guys have met each other on the racetrack, it, it's now and go. Jordan Franzen, the Gatorade Duel number one race winner, is already up to second place, but Demax ran the 88 car. He ran well in the Gatorade Duels, but he's right now kicked in the middle. Here comes Alex Jones. Makes his return to the Sony Cup Series. On the inside, gonna go for second now. Some guys are spinning out in the field. Look at them all spreading out just a little bit there. As we complete lap number one. Pretty crazy there. Aaron Williams, the pole sitter, is gonna hold off the lead lap number one. Theo Stegel and the 43 right now on the middle group but here comes the season one champion. He's been closed so many times. Season three was leading on the white flag lap and he did not come back with the checkers. Season one Richard Johnson was leading on the white flag lap did not come back with the checkers. Richard Johnson still looking to try and win one of the biggest races of all time in the Sony Cup Series. Tristan Reed is just a rookie. He's just trying to get the experience. And we're four wide. Ian Peterson on the inside. Contact with Ted Oskowski. They save it. What a save by Ted Oskowski. He's going to come back on the racetrack and still in the top ten. 
Whoa, wow! Rookie of the year, rookie rookie driver of season number four, Daniel Oskowski gets that Lowe's Chevrolet back on track and still competitive. Brett Johnson to the inside for the race lead. With help from Dylan White in the one car. This is 40 laps, guys. We got a long race here, and we do have pit stops. I can guarantee you that we will have to have some get pit stops and some pit strategy will have to be sorted out through this race. Dylan White has not won since season two. He's looking for a win. Ian Peterson was in the was down on the apron a while ago, and he's already up to second place now. First round in the seven started midfield in the seven car. Oh no, a caution! A wreck! And that is the bombing Dom Caps in the five. And Tono Oskowski sideways through the grass. And is that a caution? Is that caution out on that? No, no caution. No cautions out for that. And no, we got a record. Sean Henley's around. Sky Commons is in it. The five car, another Hendrick car. Three Hendrick cars and just less than a lap. The five car of John Radigan is in it. Is pace car out this time? Yes, it is. Dom Caps is in it. Here's the race back to the line. Jordan Franzen getting help from Ashley Mays. That's teammates right there. Ashley's going to give the 42 of Franzen the run here to the line. But here it comes. Mace down the inside. Ashley not going to get it there. It's going to be Jordan at the line. But Dom Caps right there in the five car. Ended up finishing six overall in the championship down in season number four. He went around off turn number four. Ron Dejar Jr., he's in it. Sky Commons, he started in the tail end of the field, barely making the 500, not the way he wants to end his 500. Sean Henley in the 25 car, we saw him spinning back up the track in turns one. Ted Noskowski may be involved, or yeah, he was with the um, Dom Cap. Let's take a replay. All right, we're looking right here. Dom Caps is riding right behind the 31 of Ted Noskowski. Ted saved it down here a few a lap ago. And that was a tremendous save by Ted Noskowski. And they're going to go four wide here with Theo Stigl on the outside, the Max in the middle. And Ted has to come down for using the Max. And I guess Ted did not know that Dom was down there. And then, whoa, Dom Caps got some air there. And right there, Ted Noskowski backs it up into Dom Caps making the 24 go for a spin down here. The 31 keeps it going. This does not bring out the caution, but this does up here with the 25 car of Sean Henley. Something happens to him. And him in the 40 and the 45 car. Oh, up, up, Zach Glickinger turns Sean Henley up into Ron Vajar Jr. clutching his teammate at the last second there of, what's his name again? John Radigan. And that's what happened to them guys. And something happened to Samuel Jr. here. May have been the 45 again here. No, it was the 15. And the 15 of Charles Sanford. See a little close racing there. Look at that. Samuel Jr.'s got a little air there off that turn. He's going to drive it through the grass. And he's going to keep it going. Wow. Let's get you back to the restart. Never mind about, pit, uh, never mind about the restart. We got pit stops. Jordan Brands is going to bring in Ashley Mace, Luke Martin, Eugene Max, and Andreas Allen. Allen looking for his second champion, or not second championship, second Daytona 500 championship. As they all come in, what will they do? Who's going to bring them out first? Let's take a look here. What's going to be gambling here? Who's going to pay off here? Oh no, a big risk stack up in the back. Someone has spun around. Ashley Mace is going to come out. Right there, first Allen made a gamble there. Something happened to someone in the back there. I don't know who that is. Someone's around in the back. And Jordan Franz is going to lose a lot of ground there. Someone was around. And I really can't tell who that was. Henley returns to the track. Ron Vajar Jr. is still in pit road. Let's take a replay see if we can catch if we can catch what happened for the back down pit road. Sorry that we are back late for the restart. <clears throat> I accidentally hit the accelerate button, but we are back. We just went back green. Um, Ashley Mace was your race leader. Cordovo's come out of nowhere and is going to take the lead here on completing to come at lap number 10. 
and no caution is out. Domcap still on the racetrack. Ten Oskowski. We still got about uh, probably about 30 guys still on the race lap. 36. Some guys running single file to try and keep up. But up, up front, Cordovo's. Uh, he just got kicked up up three wide now. And the Max. Look at this, Jonathan Gatton in the 96. This is his second. Um, Sony Cup 3 start as he made one start in season 2 and now he is just going for rookie of the year Ogo kicked up the middle Ashley May is going to help him but Theo Stegel in the 43 is going to give Gatton the run as the rookies are going to go 1-2 at, at, off turn number 4 Gatton is going to lead lap number 11 here or lap number 10 here Pretty hard racing here. Look at these guys as they're going to lead them on a turn number two here. Or one here. Luke Martin, the Budweiser shootout winner, won the Budweiser shootout. And now taking the lead in that silver and blue number six by Ever Ford. Here comes the 19 of Randy Carpenter. Here comes the fending season. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're making contact there with Ashley Mace. And here comes Dylan Young, four wide. Oh, Young, 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 Young! Young's around! A big melee! Some cars are in the fence! Wow, back to the line, and it's gonna be Klein with the run here, but here comes Carpenter down the inside with Mace pushing, and she couldn't push him to the lead there, but it's gonna be Klein leading the race, but look at this big melee! A lot of cars! Malone! A Malone upside down! Jones has got a lot of damage. Young was the one I saw go around first. Look at the damage on all these cars. Ruby Hidoravu's in it. Um, looks like Jackson's got some damage. Silver Fox is in it. Brad Johnson. Stephen Poehler the third. Zach Flickinger. Look at all these cars that are in it. Austin Lindell. Richard Johnson's not going to win the 500 in Season 5. Joey Murphy, rookie, he's in it. Alex DeMarco. Trifon Reed. Aaron Williams, pole sitter. Dylan Young, or Dylan White, and a Jordan Franzen. Been one of the strongest cars all speed week. He's in it, and he's out at the race. Let's take a replay. Okay, so it's going to start right here, where at the 11, he gets picked. Uh, he, he hits a bump or something, and he goes sideways. Rob, How Rob Houston's in it. Alex Jones goes into Gatton. And look at all these guys. Look, the 36 Ogo gets on his side there. The front six pull away with no damage. Andreas Allen clips Silver Fox there. Demax comes into Ian Peterson. And all these guys just come piling in. I mean, look at all them guys. Look at the guys that missed it. <laughs> Gatton goes up there. The five car, John Radigan's going to come by. Oh, barely missing it there. Man, as full speed there is the 36 right there. The 31 and the 24 are able to get by this one here. Look at all the cars that are in it. It's the big one, guys. I mean, uh, almost everybody is in it. Look at all the cars that are in there. I mean, it just continues on. Only six guys made it through that wreck with no damage. Let's take another look in real time. Here's a look at what happened in it in real time as they go into turns number three. Look at them. They're just going in there, and the melee happens.
miraculously, we do not have that much cars out of the race after that. Had some guys that still sitting on pit road. Richard Johnson. Actually, we do have a lot of guys out of the race. I let's call that. Richard Johnson last on the lead lap, 23rd, with a lot of damage. Dylan Young still on the racetrack as well with Brad Johnson. But it's pretty much well said done that Gibbs will not win here today, as they are pretty much damaged. Pace car pulls in Theo Sickle, rookie, in the 43 Cheerios, or Cheerios Dodge. is going to lead down Black Car, Greg Brown, and Randy Carpenter in the 19. Only a few guys up here that do not have any damage. Actually, the 15 actually had, or the 25 had damage, but I do not know why, he, I don't know how he's still up here. He missed it by, he missed the wreck, and now he's up here. But what in the world did, oh, okay, I was wondering why they was actually Mesa slowing down so much. It's because Greg Brown in the 7 is damaged, allowing Theo Stegel to pull away. Some guy is still able to keep up. Luke Martin, I do not know if he still is, has some damage there. Dom Caps spun around earlier. And he is in the top 10, miraculously able to still keep up with this pack. Remember, he was out of the draft earlier with some of these damaged race cars. They're still going to run up here. Look at this, John Radigan, barely missing the big one. He's able to tail the end of this pack, and he's able to run up here. If we have a damaged race car with this race like John Radigan is right now, give that five car a round of applause to keep up right there. That crew has worked hard there. Hendrick Motorsports may actually have a chance to win this race. Ashley Mays, a girl actually won last season. That was an Amber Coat. She's the only girl this season. Ashley Mays, a Mace. A Mace still has, well, well, Nick Mace did not make the 500 this um, year, but since Ashley Mace made the 500 this year, it's still in the Sony Cup Series history that all the Maces have, at least one Mace have made the 500 in all the seasons. As the cars are kind of calmed down, because some guys are barely able to keep up, I'm kind of surprised with the 24 and the 5 on how they're able to still keep up. Cordobos and uh, the 6 are still up here. I do not know if they got involved in the last wreck. Jackson's got some front-end damage as the 25 went around earlier and got hit. Zach, F Zach Flickinger started dead last on the field, has a little bit of damage, and he's still running up here with this pack. Some guys are off the pace back here. They're still up, running up in one little big old second pack here. They're a little spread out, but it's a second pack, I'd say. Everybody, everybody is still in, in a draft. Off turns number four. Now, I would really think it, was, it would be just these four that are going to be able to win this 500. Klein, the champion of season four. Theo Stegel, a rookie. Ashley Mays, a rookie. And Randy Carpenter. Last year's rookie, or last year's, or last year's rookie. Alex DeMarco is also up here. Luke Martin. John Radigan is just impressing me. Look at all the damage there. Hold up here. Let's go on the chase cam. I mean, look at this front chase. It's gonna... Look at that. Look at the damage. Look at the damage on the back of the five. How in the world is he still up here in this pack? That 24 went around on lap one, as, or lap two as well. I do not know how any of them two are up there in this pack, but oh well. <laughs> Alex DeMarco, rookie, down the inside. Going to try and get help from Luke Martin halfway here. <clears throat> still battling for the race lead. We got a good pet pack still up here in this top, in this top few. Trifon Reed in the 11th. 11 car race for the race lead. Here comes Theo Stegel in the 43. We haven't talked about him at all. All speed weeks. He right now goes to the bottom with help from the 24. That 24 went around on lap number 2. And he's up front racing for this race lead. Alex DeMarco still leads. But Theo Stegel with the help from Dom Caps. Oh no, a wreck. Someone's through the grass. That is the 8 car Hayden Klein. He got turned and he saves it. Is the pace car out on the racetrack? The pace car is, uh, the caution flag is out. The eight car went around. This is the race back to the line. Theo Stegel is going to lead them back to the line.
pace car is now pulling out as Rovia Darbo is last on the racetrack. But coming back around, Ashley Mays down the inside with help from Luke Martin. Alright, and Theo Stegel is going to lead him back to the start-finish line. Now, let's take a replay of what happened. As we'll get to the replay in a little bit. Theo Stegel, we got pit stops. Theo Stegel is going to lead them all down. Cordova stays out on the racetrack. As we may actually have to have one more green flag pit stop. If we do not go, if we go the rest of the way. Let's see who gets out first. Ashley Mace is for salt in to everyone else says um the pole sitter is out and uh, is that Galgan? Galgan's finally returning to the race and here comes all these other guys look at this um Jackson's gonna gamble with right side tires only with that damaged race car to see if he can get track position to see if he can stay with the lead pack now the 12 and the 02 leave together and the 24 lost a lot of ground in that pit stop Let's get to the replay. Here's what happened to the 8 car right here. The 19 and the 8 make contact. <laughs> They're going four wide through the trial. But I think the 8 tries to get off the 19. And he does. He gets off the, uh, got, gets off of into the 5. Sending the 5 through the grass. And the 8 goes around through the grass. And now back up the track there. And he ended up saving the car. I really would disagree of someone in Cup Series throwing the caution so early, but let's get you to the restart. As we're fixing to go back green, Stefan Pollard, the third, Cordovos, um, Trifon Reed, and Hayden Klein all stayed out on the racetrack. They're going to have to fit sooner or later, but also to uh, follow up on some, Sean Galligan is back on the racetrack. He is 18 laps down. To Stefan Pollard the third. I do not know the reason why he would come back on the racetrack. Wait, I know why. The big one. <laughs> the big one was one of the reasons. He's going to gain a lot of positions if he stays out for just three laps. That'll be big for him. Going from 39th all the way up to 20th in just about three laps. That'll be big for Sean Gallagher. But he's going to get in the way of the lap cars here as Cordova is trying to get around him on the outside. Look at this. Theo Stegel on the inside. He's going to gain some positions here. Look at this, the, the 29 uh, of Charles Jackson trying to pay off by taking right side tires on that start with gas only. He's got a lot of damage. Let's see if he can get up to speed quick enough to run with the lead pack like the 5 and the 24 did. Cordova's getting up three wide there. Actually, Galligan's actually <laughs> running up to speed. Pretty impressive there after he got wrecked earlier. No, Stephen Pollard. Pollard in it, a Trifon Reed pit under green flag. I do not understand this at all. Why did they not pit under caution? I don't get that at all. Bad call, by my opinion, on, on that. They're, they're going to leave the hand, they're going to hand over the race lead to uh, Randy Carpenter. Galligan is still leading this field, field around, but he is 18 laps down. Now he's 17. Just he's ahead of him now. But here comes Theo Stegel. Ashley Mason, Theo Stegel, rookies trying to win the first race ever in their Sony Cup Series debut. Luke Martin in the six car, and Luke Martin in the six. Last time he's won was back in season three at Las Vegas. And these are the front four. Galligan is the fifth car in there. And St. Jackson is trying to get up there. Is that Richard Johnson? Johnson's in sixth place, but damaged trying to hang on up there if these guys could work together damaged or not they could probably catch them John Radigan trying to hang in there with them as well he does not want to drop back these guys that are running about all by himself Alex DeMarco running by themselves out Samuel Jr. trying to find some friends it is Austin Lindell Brad Johnson pushing them with them Dylan Young he was he was he was over there spinning around with a bunch of cars but he's been in a turn three earlier with like 20 guys bouncing off of him, so shows the teamwork that these teams put into these race cars to get their cars running in perfection to try and get them but still running to win this race. I, I, that car has like a hole in the side of it, and he's in the top 10. That's amazing for Dylan Young, though. Front, these three are this, little, this tiny little second pack trying to catch these guys, but they're losing a little bit of momentum. 
every lap that these guys right here, Gallag and I have a feeling is going to get in the way of this finish for some reason. Look out for Gallagher later on in this race, though. <laughs> if these top four go four wide for the race lead later on, uh, later on in this race, I'll, I'll be pretty in shock. Actually, Mace, rookie, trying to win her first race and be the second female driver in the Sony Cup Series to win a race. But look, let's take a look and see where these guys are. Uh, the 50th Stefan Pollard, the third in all of them. They're right here. Stefan Pollard, third. Um, and then there's Trife and Reed, Nicholas Cordovos, they're right there with each other. That was the front three that pitted. Then there's Gallagher, Luke Martin taking the lead, getting help off the draft of Gallagher. As we are closing in on a 10 laps to go. Four guys up here on the lead lap, and then we got about three guys that are a lap down as Sean Galligan goes to the outside to try and go around the lap cars, but Luke Martin ditches Galligan and goes to the inside to follow Cordovos. Luke Martin said in an interview that he was happy that Luke, that Nick Mace did not make the race because he felt like that was going to be his biggest threat, but his little sister is right on her ass, and if he don't get going, she'll take the win from him. Ashley Mace down the inside with help from Theo Stegel. She's going to take the lead. Trifon Reed in the way, though, leading the field. He is up to speed. He's pretty fast. He was leading earlier. And they're going to run up on another car right here. That's Stefan Pollard, the third. Hayden Klein in the eight car is in pit road. <clears throat> Looks like he's got some mechanical problems under that car. Stefan Pollard, the third lap car, goes to the outside, and that's going to hold up Mace and Martin as here comes Theo Stegel to take the advantage away. We're, we're going to focus in on these guys back here. Richard Johnson moving his way. That's a fight for the top five position there. As a, <laughs> a lot of money is for fifth place to, to sixth place there. That's Richard Johnson. I wouldn't count these guys out. If we have a caution, they could be still in a fight to win this race. And uh, Alex DeMarco is getting help from Dom Caps. They're actually reeling them in. They're going really fast. They're locked up together. They're like two-car tango in there. 296 right there ac across the line. They are flat flying up these guys. They're going to catch them sooner or later here. Look out for these guys. Look out for them guys. <laughs> but right here, this is a big pack right here. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys are not wrecking here. But right now, it is with Carpenter with the lead as Theo Stegel right there. And Galligan's going to go three wide on them guys. That is first, that is second, that is third, and that is fourth. <laughs> these lap cars are in the way of, of these leaders. They're going to play a role at the end of this race. Carpenter up the middle and trying to hold on to the lead. Mace in the middle following him and Luke Martin also there as well. If I wonder if Theo Stegel could just drop back and get back to the bottom and push forward almost by them and to retake the lead. And the 19 sees a hole he goes for it. It's Cordobos going to be a nice gentleman and let them guys back in line. As I would never expect that from Cordovos at all. I would never expect him to be a gentleman. <laughs> As here comes Carpenter. He won two races last season in his rookie year. Trying to get another one and be it. Um, get another victory. But we're coming in to pit stops. Pit stops are in. Gallagher is also coming in. Carpenter and Luke Martin pull in. And that hands over the race lead to... Theo Stegel and um, Ashley Mace. Go to Ricky Thornton. Uh, he made his pit stop. As a lot of guys are in, a lot of guys are pulling in. This is their last scheduled pit stop as Carpenter. Gas only for the 19 Dodge. He's going to come on out. Hold up here. Um, looks like Galligan's pulling in, and Luke Martin is going to beat Carpenter off pit road. 
and uh, nobody really gained in the back there, but the 14 and the 24, who've been working, working together there the last few parts of the race, they're going to make some progress there, and pass the guys that have been racing, racing. but Mace and uh, teammates, um, teammates, Richard Petty Motorsports, Ashley Mace and Theo Stegel, pull in together, this can be pretty big here. Where will they pull out in front of uh, Gal uh, in front of um, Luke Martin there? Gal uh, not Galligan. Galligan's there. Luke Martin and Carpenter, they're running with each other. Where is the 44 and 43 at? They're pulling out right now. Theo Stegel got a fast stop there. Ashley Mason better be getting up to speed fast because Theo Stegel could pull away here any any minute. And here they come. The 6 and the 19 are together. Carpenter and Luke Martin veterans trying to chase down the rookies. And Luke Martin throws a desperate block to stay in front of Randy Carpenter. <coughs> Theo Stegel, though, has a humongous lead. <coughs> Ashlyn Mace right there. <coughs> in second place. Galligan's there. These two are going to have to work together if they want to get up there. And Carpenter trying to find a way around the six. He does not want to be behind that six car for some reason. He's like, if you're not going to let me go, you better take my push. We better be getting up there. As they're helping each other out there. And Mace barely trying to hold on to the draft. I don't know if it's good enough. This is reminding me of season two, back from season two of the Daytona 500, as Nick Mace tried to reel in um, Andreas Allen. And Ashley Mace may have a little bit of run here on the 43, but right here, these three are pulling in on the, these two, but Mace, Ashley Mace, has reeled in Theo Stegel. Alright, now if these two can work together, they could probably make these two not win the race. If they can work together, Luke Martin and Randy Carpenter may be out of it. Drive and Reed, uh, Drive and Reed in the 22, remember he pitted earlier. And he didn't have any help, so he's going to have to pit early now. There he goes now. He's pitting early. Luke Martin and Randy Carpenter just when they needed to pass the lap car down, and he pulled over for them. Losing my voice again, but Ashley Mace in the 44. Nick Mace in the pit box. Or Nick Mace ain't even in the pit box. He's on the spotter stand. What we have been told, she has he has moved up from the spotter stand to try and help her out and coach her on the spotter to try and get her to victory lane. And they're coming up on the ch season two champion Nicholas Cordobos. And Cordobos, what is he doing? He pulls up right in front of Ashley Mace and he blocks the Ostegel. What a what a move for the lap car. That is not what you need to do. You need to get out of the way if you're a lap car. But we got two laps to go. Theo Segel, one of these rookies are going to win the race as it goes right now. Theo Stegel to the lead. Ashley Mace, one of the Petty Motorsports cars, are going to end up winning. I don't know, though. I don't know if Luke Martin and them will have enough time. They're going 197. These guys are going 194. Three miles an hour slower. And another lap car, Stefan Pollard here. They're going to have to go around on the outside. Oh, Mace contact. The bump and run. And they're coming to the white flag. Well, how will Pollard pull up, make effect here? And Stefan Pollard's going to block the inside. But Ashley Mace going to push him right on by. Mace to the white flag. And they got Trifon Reed there. These guys are catching him. But I don't know if it'll be enough time. Ashley Mace, look at this. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be down to who can get around who the best. Oh my goodness, Theo Stegel trying to push Pollard by. Trifon Reed trying to get, or Ashley Mace trying to push Trifon Reed around. <clears throat> oh no, here comes the lap car. Here comes um, uh, Galligan and Luke Martin and them. Theo Stegel, he gets around Ashley Mace. This is for the victory as here they come off turn number four. Theo Stegel may have it here. Theo Stegel is right there. He's going to come off turn number four. Theo Stegel is going to win the Daytona 500. Theo Stegel wins the 500. Ashley Mace gets second. One more lap. It would have been really crazy there. As Luke Martin get third. Randy Carpenter will end up getting fourth. Them guys were <laughs> for a claw on their way back up to the front. 
Just not quite. What a race. <clears throat> Sorry it was so long, but <laughs> what a race. It pays off. And let's go to the official results. Here's the finishing results. And Theo Stegel works together with Stefan Fowler III on the outside to make the pass on Ashley Mace for the victory on the final lap. <laughs> Ashley in the 44 was not really expected to come out of here and be a really good car. She just had a really good qualifying setup in at that time and got second and she will finish second there as well. Luke Martin third. Randy Carpenter fourth. Dom Caps. He was spinning off turn number four on lap number two. He'll come back to finish fifth. With Alex DeMarco, they worked to get pretty well, very well together at the finish there as they tried to catch back up but couldn't do it. And <clears throat> Samuel Jr. is seventh. The five of John, uh, John Radigan, he, he got clipped by, um, um, Sean Henley on lap number two, as, or lap number three, and that sent him spinning. He had a lot of back-end damage and somehow came out of here with the top ten. Zach Flickinger also had some, um, uh, he was involved in an accident earlier. Charles Jackson had the hood, hood bent in and somehow comes out of here with the top ten. Richard Johnson barely missing the top ten as well, and Brad Johnson, um, teammate with Richard, <clears throat> come out of here twelfth. And here's the rest of the finishing results. A lot of guys retired. Look at their Galligan in the 66, or in the 66, finished 25th. He was 39th in pit road until he decided to come on the racetrack. And look how many spots he gained. A pretty good amount. Well, that's all for now. And so, yeah, see you later, guys. Hope you enjoy the 500. I sure did.